All right, everyone, and welcome to the Midweek Market Wrap-Up with myself. My name is Michael Noss. I'm a chartered market technician and quantitative trader. So what we're going to do in this Wednesday episode, same thing we do in every Wednesday episode, we're going to talk about what happened so far in the market since my live stream on Friday. We're going to try to prepare for the next few days of trading. This all wraps up with a live stream that I do every Friday right after the market closes. If you're interested in more of this content, uh, my analysis delivered to you every single day, uh, any of the trading tools you see me use, or you want to sign up for my email list, I only email when I'm going to go live. I don't share the email list or anything like that. Link is in the description below for all that, which gets you to my website, full free trading course there as well. So without further ado, let's get right into it. And as always, start with Bitcoin. So hit kicked my desk there. Uh, here with Bitcoin, essentially, we had this breakdown, talked about this last week, talked about this on the live stream, looking like a bear flag, right? Generally speaking, if you're going to get a bounce pretty significantly, it's going to happen quickly. The longer what you break support, the longer you stay under support, the less of a chance, in my opinion, that you're actually going to get through support. So uh, nothing exciting here for me. I would need to see a you know break back above the support area and then some constructive action above there before I'd be interested at all here. Now, when it comes to the dollar, uh, I look at this for Bitcoin's sake, but then also uh, there's nothing else going on in the crypto market that I can see right now. So just skipping over to the dollar, we had an inside day today, and the last kind of four days we've just been chopping around. So we had these abandoned babies that I talked about. This caused you know this spike right here, and then this caused this sell off right here. We are down below this prior resistance zone. We're kind of hugging uh, the lows here, you know. A generally, if you have a breakdown or a breakout, like I talked about with Bitcoin, and then a resting period, you kind of have to assume that it's going to resolve in the direction of the overall trend, which in this case would be lower, meaning any currency denoted in US dollars is probably going to move higher. Um, any sort of, um, you know, it's good for the stock market as well. We've noticed kind of an inverse correlation where the higher the dollar goes, it seems to put pressure on the market. So with this kind of resting, we could get kind of a bit of a flip there. Uh, some currencies that I'm watching is uh, pound yen. You can see had this massive support for a long period of time, broke that and failed. And now it's putting in a little bit of a bear flag right here. So if we break down under this trend line, I'm going to look to short some with a stop above this area here just to see if we get a bit of a continuation lower. Now into the actual equity markets, not much to say. The last four days have been pretty choppy after that uh, good print we had on Friday. And I'm just watching this downtrend line to see if we're just going to rest for a while, maybe chop around here. This is actually what you want to see, like I talked about with the dollar. This is what you'd want to see if you're bullish or would like the markets to move higher is a move higher and then a resting period and then a continuation. So we need to see that continuation before we get too excited. But this resting period that's going on here is a good thing, technically speaking. Uh, some individual names I'm watching. One is FLR, nice kind of sideways consolidation here after a gap off of earnings, kind of chopping sideways right here, looking to see if this can continue above this kind of box I drew. This is a trade that I love. You know, you get a positive earnings gap and then a base after that gap. A continuation from there could mean that whatever they said during earnings is fundamentally changing the stock and we get a move in our direction. Monster Energy Drink, if you even go back further, this $100 level for Monster has been a massive deal. So if we can break 100 bucks, uh, I'm going to be interested in purging some of this. ASC right here is a shipping company, big strong push up and then just kind of consolidating sideways. So if this can, thing can break and move higher, that could be a little bit of a bull flag. You see there was another one right in this area that resolved higher and gave you a nice percentage gain there. So if we can get that again, I will be a super happy camper. So Thank you very much for coming by, guys. Um, come check out my website, www.statsedgetrading.com for more content like this, more information, all of that stuff. 
I appreciate you guys stopping by and I will talk to you soon.